Over the last couple of days, we've seen Mary receiving her visits from the angel Gabriel and the task that was in front of her, what she was told to do, how the prophecies were being fulfilled and how she was being used for God's glory. She was told that the Lord would be with her, that she would conceive and give birth to a son and would give him the name Jesus. I wonder what any of us would do in that position, how Mary would respond. It seemed too great, too great for her to think about, too, too hard for her to imagine. But for Mary, there was an important task ahead and God was going to use her. And she responded with obedience. As we hear in our reading in just a moment, Initially there was questioning, there was how can this be possible? But she does realise what was going on and she trusts in God. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she, who was said to be unable to conceive, is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Those words that Mary says, where she says, I am the Lord's servant. She has her trust in him, despite how difficult it all seems, how hard it seems to understand. She still has her trust completely in him. And so the angel has left her. And despite everything that's gone on, how difficult, how big and complicated it all sounds, she trusts in God. Isn't that a wonderful lesson for all of us, to be able to trust in God? It's not always easy, but we can all be used by God. And Mary knew that she was going to be used for God's glory. She must still have had fear. She must still have had her concerns. But she trusted in God and would obey him.